Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with a sequential discovery puzzle made in design Australia by Yunichi Yananose. And the task of this puzzle is to find a hidden message, a compartment somewhere hidden in the box. I assume it's probably this one here that can be pulled out, but we're gonna figure it out definitely. It's entirely made of wood, at least from first point of view, there are probably some metal sliders or pin or ball bearings or something inside, but for now it looks like it's entirely made out of wood different types of wood. So according to the description, we got some silky oak here on the top, which is looking amazing. It looks in reality even better than here on the video. So it gives you like a three dimensional appearance with all these freckles here on the top. It looks really amazing. The middle layer here is made out of Fijian mahogany. And no, I cannot identify this wood. I just <laughs> narrating it here from the website. So comes with the usual shiny surface finish of mahogany wood. And then here on the bottom layer, we got some koto, whatever this is. Uh, I do not know this type of wood, but you probably know. Let me know in the comments if you know some more details about this type of wood, as well as these layers here are made also out of koto. And then we got this dark reddish one here, 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 which is jera. In regards to the appearance and design, I think it's pretty much straightforward. Nothing on here that's not needed like engravings or stuff. Still, it looks very beautiful due to all of these different types of wood. As I mentioned, a sequential discovery puzzle, I think around 15 moves was released last year. I will not touch anything here on this puzzle because you never know on this sequential discovery where to start and if I just reveal the first move, but this I gonna do for sure after spoiler break. When you're gonna see my first attempt, try to solve the dial case. By the way, <laughs> by the way, this puzzle is called the dial case. I forgot to mention this, I think. So let's just get it on. Okay, here we go. So let's have a first look. Can we rotate this? No, this is blocked. It's rotating also the piece here on the top, which is also blocked. This one is a bit tight. Oh, this is a bit tighter, but I can lift it up. And this is what I did. So there is like a magnet or something here inside. And what is this doing? Oh, and now the dial is already released. So again, let's see what happens if I put this in. This will be blocked. I can rotate this. I can block it in a different position. Okay, so it seems I can block this in different positions. This is not a complete disc, this dial, but it's like containing some separate pieces. You see this here? That can be either, I don't know, pushed or pulled or... But definitely this dial is not a full disc, but contains at least three parts, three single parts or more. So let's see what happens here. So what's interesting is I cannot turn the disc with this dial here, but if I turn the dial, the disc will twist with it. <laughs> Let's see if I can hear something falling when I rotate it. Oh yes, there was something. I can also rotate it only in one direction, it seems. I can also see that there is something inside. So there is definitely a cutout here in the, in the disc. Hmm. So it seems when I push this in here, Another piece that will move like in here will go into these notches, you see? So every time a notch is in the same position and it's the same in here, I can press this in. Now it's blocked. I can release it again. And when the next one is at the exact same position, it goes in again. Okay, so I can block like each separate of these notches. Just trying to push it in also in different directions. Here it doesn't remain in. So there's a repelling magnet in here that pushes it out again. And this is probably also why you have this inlay here with a different color. Let's see if the disc contains any magnets. No. Okay, so let's see. I'm just curious, why, why is there this chamfer here on the bottom? This one. Hmm. 
Oh, 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 and something moved. Something moved on this one. Oh, oh my gosh. What happened here? I mean, why was this so hard to find? Let me try it again. So because this is pretty easy to take out, you see this? <laughs> Can't believe it how easy this is. It's, why didn't I find this early? I mean, this is so easy. You see this? can just take it out oh man this gave me a really hard time for nothing i think okay and the click the click is this thing here jumping out when it is diving into this notch you see this notch here on the inside in there you can see there is the notch and it, it has a little ramp so it comes up and then it's jumping back in and this is what you hear and this means you can only in this position take it out Got an additional tool now. Let's continue here for now. Oh yes, oh yes, and I can pull out. Seems I can pull out the thing up there. Oh, 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 oh. come on. Yes. Wow, nice. An octagonal shape here of this pin. For, for whatever purpose. Should be able to take out more of them. Where is the centerpiece? Yes, here's another one. Ah, here we go. And here we... What's going on here? How and you get all this stuff inside. Ah, uh, here, maybe. Here. Ah, oh. Woo, very complex. Very complex. So now I got all this stuff here, but it does not help me to get into here, I think. <laughs> not at all. Or, how should I open this one now? And why can I open it now? Or should I be able to open it now? But not before. Ooh. Oh, no, nothing happens in here. Maybe in the other direction. I push it like so. Oh. <laughs> push it out a bit but I think it's I need to use this tool because this you can get in the most and I can definitely push it out a bit over here but ah here we go it came out oh finally this was the piece this was the piece holding this let me let me just show you holding the dial and back here there is now oh there is something new revealed Oh yes, oh, these are like inside here. There are like these two bright pieces, one here and one here, and I can like push them apart. Let me maybe try this one. I think, what, what can I, I need it like a round piece or something, or maybe like both of these. Maybe I can just place them in here like so. Ah, yes, and I can, oh yes, this is nice. I can push them, pinch them from the outside together. So like a, and now I have like a tool that I can like pinch and I can feel some resistance like a spring force or something. Oh, I think it's moving. It's like slightly coming out. Maybe I can push it out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, here we go. Woo what a puzzle. What a puzzle. Oh, I can tell you this was tricky. Man, so many parts. It's a button. 
Control Z. Control Z, yeah. Control Z means usually undo. <laughs> so <laughs> put it back together, I think. A, sh a, a charming way to say, tell you. Just put it back together, okay? Maybe first start with the last part of the puzzle, okay? I think it's better to understand. So here are these two features which are like spring loaded or by magnets and they are pushed inwards and they are securing the piece here. And in addition, the piece is also, this drawer is also secured by this piece, okay? With these two pieces, put them in like so. And then these two features, they are like pushed to the outside like so. And also in addition, you need to go in with this one and push this one down. And if so, you can slightly tilt this one and push it like outside to the rear, okay? Initially, it's in this condition. So when I push this one in, when this one was in, this one is pushed to the side and securing the dial, okay? So I can't rotate it. When I pull this one out, this one by the magnetic force is pulled back and I can rotate the dial. But each time I put this one back in, blocking the dial again, okay? And this is the dial, the mechanism in the dial. And it works in the following way. So the first step is I just need to, and this took me the longest time, but it's actually the easiest step, I think. Um, took me forever. I need to rotate the dial in the correct position that this pin here is pushed inwards and it only is possible if the pin is reaching this position here between the ramp and where it drops back in. This was the click noise you heard. If it's over there, I can pull it out. So in this position, whoa. So in this position, when this pin is in, I can pull this one out. Okay, next one is that I can like rotate this one and take this one out. And then I found this one that I could slide, if you remember, like over here. And if I do this, I can take this one out next. Next, this one back in, and I could take this one out, I think, if I remember right. And then, last but not least, I needed to, it's a nice detail, take this one out, push in here, and then being able to slide this one off. So, and this was like this one here being able to rotate. Wow, what a puzzle, what a puzzle. Here we go. Puzzle, oh, solved. Man, great puzzle, great puzzle. You saw it yourself, great design, great solving process. Took me a lot of time to actually find a second step, much more probably than needed. Still very enjoyable puzzle. Not too difficult, not too easy. Difficulty rating from my side, therefore a four out of maximum of five. Excellent design here by Juno and his team at Pluedro. Let me know if you agree and let me know what you think about this puzzle, this solving process, the complexity and how I struggled solving it in the comments. And that's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling.